Alright family. So can I go ahead and jump into one more thing here right quick? Praise to the most high. Got a little more time. Um I put I took these notes from a sermon. Uh and I know it was um I think it was by Derek Prince, you feel me? But it was on point, it was about Satan or the devil. And um because a lot of, you know, I don't know. I was just led through the spirit one day. I just typed in something and it, it came up and I started listening. It was on point. I started taking notes. But I can't remember exact mind state I was in at the time, but it was something. But it, it pinpoints so much and brought so much out, which we kind of know, but we don't know the depths, which we don't need to know the deep, deep, deep depths. But we need to know how the lame operate. And you understand that? Okay. So um, here we go. The headers I put here are four main ways Satan operates, who is Satan, how he comes, and the three purposes and objectives objectives of Satan. All right. And also, how do we overcome evil? All right. Now, my, these are my notes from the video that I seen on it. I didn't even note the title, but um, I know it was by Derek Press. So, you know, all praise to the most high through your side working in them, you know. Uh, but four main ways Satan operates, okay? And I'm, I got some add-on notes, but I'm just going to read it. I got it. Four main ways Satan operates. He deceives. That means he lies, okay? He tempts and entices, okay? That means he traps and snares, okay? And he he set traps and lay snares, all right? Or vice versa. He hinders. You understand that? That means he distracts and wastes time. He cop block, you know. He also accuses, he blames, he finds faults and condemns. He brings charges to present, he brings charges against you to present you guilty. That's what the devil do. He deceives, he tempts and entices, he hinders and he accuses. Therefore, he lies, he lays traps and snares, he distracts, he wastes your time, he cop blocks. He blames, he blames and accuses you. He finds faults and condemns you, or try to anyway. And he brings uh, charges against you to present you guilty. Y'all ain't know who this was in the court of law, did you? <laughs> I'm just playing. But, uh, all right, uh, all right, there's a special note here in red I put. The safeguard against deception is the word of God, which is the truth. I think Derek Prince might have mentioned that, but, you know. The safeguard against deception is the word of God, which is the truth. And that is a fact, you know, because a lot of people out here talking and they got a lot of opinions and feelings. But ultimately, man, I'm standing on this word um, and standing with those who standing in the word, you know, because that's the only truth we got. You know what I'm saying? And praise the most high for it. You know, the Bible ain't but so big, but it got so much clarity and revelation is ain't leaving much room, you know, for, for confusion long as we don't lean, lean on our own understanding and, and our own feelings, okay? All right, so that was the four main ways Satan operates. Now we move into who is Satan. Do you know who the devil is? All right, let's get it. Who is Satan? It, he said here, uh, uh, let me see. The person that's behind all evil, okay? The person... All right, without a body that's behind all evil. That was specifically what said. I remember that. The person without a body that's behind all evil. Okay, so when it's saying person to person without a body, we're referring to evil spirits. You know, you ain't seeing it, it's there and operating, but you're not seeing it in the physical or this dimension, right? So Satan is the person without a body who's the one uh, behind all evil, he's a spirit being. Okay. All right. He's a ruler of the evil spirit world. He's the ruler of the evil spirit world in high places the in the heavens. All right. He's the resistor. He's the adversary. OK, the devil. He, he is the devil. Satan is the devil, the slanderer, the accuser. Right. He was Lucifer. You understand that. Right. One of the brightest, wisest and most beautiful of God's archangels. That's who he was. You know what I'm saying? All right, Satan, he is the source of opposition. He is the great dragon. That's Revelation 12 there. He's the serpent, the snake of old. He's the tempter. He's the tempter. 
He's the deceiver. He's the deceiver, a deceiver, a liar. He's the father of lies. He's a murderer. He's a life taker. He's a thief. He's a stealer and a robber. You understand that? All right. And um, how he comes. This is how the Satan comes. All right. According to this study here, my notes. He comes like a dragon, large, fearful, fierce. He threatens and he um, terrifies. He tramples and destroys. So in this sense, he come aggressive and like, <clears throat> like, like ter in a terrifying way. That's one way he come, right? He, so he comes like a dragon. He also comes like a snake. You understand? That means he comes uh, very small barely visible he creeps and enters through cracks you understand that slimy slippery coming coming where you wouldn't expect that's what snakes do you feel me so he either coming like a daggone lion ready to devour something or more so dragon to be specific Rawr, like that or snaky you know so you gotta watch it dude. watch that yo and be on point all right all right, so special note I put up here at the top. Satan is the life taker and Christ, Yeshua, our Lord and Savior, the Messiah. Christ, the Son of God, is the life giver. Satan is the life taker, but the Messiah, Christ, Yeshua, our Lord and Savior, is the life giver. Amen. Yeshua, our Lord and Savior, is the life giver. All right. Uh, I wrote John 10, 10 here. The thief come of not but for to steal and to kill and to destroy. Right? The thief come of not but for to steal and to kill and to destroy said earlier uh let me go back here oh, the thief come of not but for to steal and to kill and to destroy all right um i it's i saying i am come that they might have life and that they might have it more abundantly so that's what the lord want for us you know what i'm saying right he come that we might have life and and uh, that we may have it more abundantly he wants us not just to have life he wants us to have abundantly be prosperous and that overflow going on in abundance like that's what the most our Lord and Savior, that's what the most high God want for us. All right. So, um, all right. So one of the key things I got here on the side note I wrote here, um, one of the same things he do, he, 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 um, he likes to hide his activity. You know what I'm saying? Like they come disguised in a sense, like to hide his activity. I just do that to the side. So I figured I'd mention it. All right. The three purposes. Oh, oh wait, I got here. Yeah. The three purposes and objectives of Satan to steal, to kill, and to destroy. All right. One, to steal. I said the three purposes and objectives of Satan to steal, to steal in regards to meaning uh, to take away our blessings. So he coming to steal, to take away our blessings and our inheritance from God. Now, he's trying to steal and take away that which is rightfully ours, that which belongs to us, y'all. All right, he come to kill. He trying to take lives and prematurely. He want to take your life and take it early. He wants you in your sin and want you to die in it. You understand that? He also come to destroy, right? And that um, I put here uh, maybe uh, to lead many to lead many. What did I put? To destroy. Ultimately, to lead many as possible with him into eternal damnation. That's his ultimate goal. Trying to lead as many of us as possible with him into eternal damnation. Okay. And or destruction. All right. And under destroy, I also put um, to ruin, to mess up, to tear apart, to devour, to erase. That's what he be. You know what I'm saying? So you, these things really help you see when the devil operating. You understand that? All right. So he tried to keep us feeling guilty so that we are no match for him. He want us to stay guilty and want us to feel guilty so that we are no match for him in terms of fighting back and um, far as warfare, spiritual warfare. And he come with psychological attacks and all of that, too. But um, let me see here. Do, 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 do. How much time I got? I got it. I'm going to make it happen. Through the grace of the most. Let's get it. All right. So how do we overcome evil? All right. Christ already defeated Satan for us. Bang. Y'all heard that? You got to believe and know that. Our Lord and Savior Christ already defeated Satan for us. The victory has been won already. You understand that? The victory has already been won. When Yeshua died and shed his blood on the cross at Calvary, you understand it was buried and raised up from the dead. This or that is Satan's total defeat. When all that happened, when Yeshua died on the cross and was raised up on raised from the dead on the third day, that is Satan's total defeat. You understand that? That's why it's important that you believe that he died and was raised up in the resurrection. 
And it's important that you believe that he is our Lord and Savior and Messiah Christ, or you ain't getting no victory over the devil, you know. So the victory is in his blood. You understand that? And um, Satan does all that he can to keep us from knowing this fact. He don't want us to understand it, and he don't want us to apply it. So therefore, Satan does all he can do to keep us from knowing this fact. He don't want us understanding it, and he, and he don't want us applying it. Okay, I put here some jump notes. Testify through the blood of Yeshua. Eight seconds. Pardon. All right, so I put here jump notes. Uh, oh, I, I put here sprinkling of the blood. I may have took this from the video here. Sprinkling the blood of Christ by testifying what it does for you. This is one of the key things we're not doing in the knowledge of the truth. Is acknowledging the power of the blood of our Lord and Savior. That is our victory. You understand that over the devil. And you know, we want to ride that lane running so rampant. But are we really acknowledging the blood and what the blood does? And also, um, do we proclaim out our mouth and testify what the blood of Christ does for us? Okay. So here go a testimony here. Lord be with me. I'm going to be on time. Through the blood of Yeshua, through the blood of Yeshua, the Messiah, Christ, I am redeemed out of the hands of the devil. Through the blood of Yeshua, all my sins are forgiven. Okay. As I walk in the light, the blood of Yeshua is cleansing me now and continuously from all sin. Okay. Through the blood of Yeshua, I am justified, made righteous, just as if I had never sinned. Okay. Through the blood of Yeshua, I am sanctified, made holy, set apart unto God. Through the blood of Yeshua, I am sanctified, made holy, set apart unto God. The devil has no place in me, no power over me, no unsettled claims against me. All has been settled by the blood of Yeshua, the Messiah, my Lord and Savior, the Son of God. Thank you, Lord Yeshua Adonai. Amen. I'm out. Y'all be blessed, man. Shalom.